Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. Welcome back to phase five. We're getting this done. At this point, you, you've had x-ray confirmation that you are healing aligned. Your doctor or your physical therapist has okayed you to do these videos. We're going to start, we want to prevent adhesive capsulitis. We want to prevent um, some type of impingement in here. So we really have to move, start moving your humerus within its joint. We're going to externally rotate and we're going to go back and forth, externally rotate. So maybe before um, you were just kind of doing a little bit here. Now we're really pushing into it and pushing into it. At this point, six weeks, five, six weeks, you are, the, the, the bone is healing. Continue to take your bone supplements though, um, your vitamin D3, your vitamin K27, your bone up, whatever you're taking, continue. Your body needs some good materials by which to heal itself. So go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna just um, continue to go here. And we're also gonna do something next called the knocking on the door of life. Uh, it's a Qigong move, but we're gonna go gentle. Um, super easy still. There'll be times, don't worry about it. You're gonna be doing push-ups and pull-ups again, whatever it is, but that's not for a while. Continue to count your blessings every day. Just be thankful. Look at the sky, be thankful. Look at your situation, be thankful. The progress you've made thus far. Maybe you have, a, have had a setback and you had to just come back from it. Be thankful for that. You're getting through this. Okay, so now we're gonna do that knocking on the door of life. Let the arms go here, and we're just gonna let them dangle, and we're gonna come like this, okay? Again, movement is lubricant. Motion is lotion. So we're gonna get some motion in there, and uh, it's often my prescription. You might say movement is the medication. There we go. Just move it, just feel it, relax. You know, as you get better and better, you're gonna be doing stuff like this, but right now, just nice down low, opening it up, open the shoulder up and close the other one. Get a little rotation, keep those abs engaged, using your abs for this one. Okay, let's do some strengthening. Obviously, we have no weights at this point. We're using the weight of your arms. A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. You're a winner. You keep winning. Waking up and winning every day with this. It's your own personal victory. It's a little bit of a lonely road, right? Nobody really knows exactly what you're going through right now or what this is taking out of your day and your life and your stress and your sleep, but you do. And uh, keep winning. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna do some, some rowing into uh, triceps. So you remember that founder exercise, you, your knees are slightly bent, the butt sticking out, you're coming down like this and you're bending like you're rowing and then you're opening up the tricep, closing the tricep, bring it down. Here we go, bending, opening. So it's a row, rowing and then triceps. Bend the arm back, bring it down and just keep going, just like this. Make sure you contract that tricep at the end range motion so each video really you're doing for at least a week. And then because you're doing two videos a day, you can go back and do one of the previous videos also. You'll find some you like, some you grow out of, and others you're eager to do, and maybe ready or maybe not ready. Here we go, that's it. Okay, let's go right into our prayer lift. You know this one. There we go. And this is passive and active, right? So you're lifting and bring it down. Good, lifting. And maybe today, maybe before you just got to your chin and maybe today you're getting to your eyes or maybe your forehead or maybe even a little higher. Nice and slow. 
When you go slow, you're contracting the muscle during the entire range of motion. When you go super fast, the muscle kind of lets up during part of that range of motion. So slow is really, slow is the new fast. <laughs> go slow. We're gonna come up and then down and then forward into tricep and then back together, coming up and bringing it up, down, bending forward, tricep. Here we go, let's do five of these. Coming up, push, push, push at the top, push, 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 and then coming down and do that tricep. Good job. Coming up, 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 up. And then bring it down. And then the tricep. Good. Now we're gonna do some biceps again. Here we go. We're doing both arms. And this time, externally rotate them a little bit, and then we'll do them there. Diamonds are made under pressure, and you are under some pressure right now, but a diamond is coming. Facets, sparkling, clarity, diamonds created in your psyche, in your will, in your spirit, in your body. Right now, believe it, you're getting better every day. Good. Let's do that pinch and curl. This time I want you to put your hands directly at your sides and keep them at your sides. So you're gonna pinch and curl, pinch and curl while keeping them down, while keeping those scapula in your back pocket. Hands are by your sides, just kind of pushing into your thighs, really centralizing that power. I want to hear from you. I want to hear how you're doing. Something's working for you, let us know. If it's not, let us know. Okay. Now we're going to lift the arm. This is called an eccentric lift. So we're going to take, take your involved. This is my good arm. Okay. We're going to take this, lift it. Realize this is all done and then just let it come down. But as you're letting it come down, you're trying to lift it at the same time. Realize all this is done un at your own risk, by the way, under your doctor's supervision also. So lift the arm by lifting it. And then as you let it down, try and just hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. I'm using my left arm. I'm just trying to hold it up and then lifting with my right arm and then hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Good, you got it. Hold it, hold it. Good, let's do a couple more. Lifting and holding it up, holding it up. There we go. And lift. And let it go. You got this. Good. Lift. And again. Okay, good. Let's take a little break. Just relax for a second. Welcome back. We're going to do a little, uh, with the arms, we're going to do a supination and a pronation. Again, keeping those elbows moving and lubricated. Just like that. Time. Now you can start to really push into the end range motion. You can get a little strength there at the end range motion. Okay, now we're gonna do some circles with the wrists. There we go. Nice circles with the wrist. And then the other direction. And then 
again. Just moving those fingers. And now we're gonna put the hands together just like this. And we're gonna push one way, push the other way, giving resistance with the opposite hand. Just like this. Resistance, resistance. This is working the forearm flexors. A lot of you will take um, a ball, like an exercise ball, a stress ball, and do some ball squeezes with that, which is a beautiful way to go. You can also take that ball like a tennis ball, put it in a sock, throw it over your shoulder and go against a wall and do some self-massage. Uh, I really like that. Uh, at this point, you can start using a um, uh, massage gun. And in fact, I have a massage gun for shoulders video. Uh, you can start looking at that, seeing how it, how it looks, how it feels, especially if you're you're after week six. Good, so let's take that prayer now and do some prayer lifts. Lift, getting higher today, good. Lift, so you're helping it, you know, with, with your better arm. Lift. Feeling that anterior deltoid, right? Feeling right here. Strengthen. Chest is up. Let's pinch your shoulder blades up together while you're doing it. That's gonna give you a little more strength. All those scapular stabilization exercises we do, let's use them now so you're pinching the shoulder blades together while you're doing your prayer lift. This isn't a hunch, this is a pinch. Chest up, abs engaged. Getting serious about your posture. Okay, now we're gonna do a little punching. So we're going to take this hand, take the other hand and, and give it a little support here and just a little punch. And then grab here and it's a, a pull. And you try and pull from right here. And then we're going to do a punch and a pull and a punch and a pull. Beautiful. And a punch and a pull. A couple more. Keep going at your own pace called an isometric exercise. You're not moving, you're just using the muscle. Punching, pulling. Now we're gonna do external and internal rotation. So external rotation, internal rotation. So external rotation, keeping that elbow just glued to your side and internal rotation. External rotation. Internal rotation, good. External. At this point, with everything your body's gone through, I rec highly recommend going to a chiropractor. Get your neck adjusted. Don't have them touch your shoulder yet though. And push. And external rotation, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little, uh, let the arms go, we're just do like an elephant trunk here. We're just gonna go back and forth. That's just the happy elephant going through the jungle. Dun, 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 dun. Just moving and grooving. Moving your body and just feeling that shoulder. Good. All right, one more exercise. We're going to do some circles. We're going to do them bilaterally. We're going to do each direction. Palms up like this, just some small circles, just like this. Feel yourself being lifted up here. And your circles might be down here, right? Or your circles might be really slow. That's fine. Do what you can. This is your journey. 
coming back. And then let's go the other direction. Excellent. So this is phase five. Do this until you're ready for phase six, which will be approximately uh, week seven to start, but it's, it's, it's all different for everybody. Glad you're here. You're making it through. Thanks for being with me today.